Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at making our to-do application from the previous AngularJS a little better. And we're going to walk into a situation or an error that you might run into and then we'll walk right out of that. Uh, so, here's our application here on the left. Here it is in the browser on the right. Let me just reload that really quick. We can add some uh, to-dos. We can clear some completed ones. And, uh, and, you know, hey, that works. But now, as soon as we refresh, Everything's gone, it's back to its default state, and that's not very helpful. So over here in the code, I'm going to comment out where we uh, initialize the scope.todos, and we're gonna recreate that really quick. And we're gonna use local storage to store the data that we want to present in the list of to-do items. So uh, todos equals uh, local storage dot get item, and we're gonna call it todos. And uh, if that doesn't exist, we'll set it to an, uh, an array, an empty array. Now, local storage actually only stores strings. So uh, we're going to say JSON to parse from that string that we stored uh, so that we have our object back, our array of objects. And then down here, we're going to set up a watch. So scope dot dollar watch. And of course, we're watching the to do's. And we'll take the new value and the old value. And we'll say if uh, the new value is not equal to the old value, then we'll just uh, set the local storage to the new value. So local storage dot set item rather than get item to do's uh, is set to new value. Uh, down here, we also want to make sure that that's a uh, deep evaluation because we need to recognize if the uh, done state has been changed to true or false on any individual uh, to-do item. So let's reload this really quick. So obviously, you know, our initialized scope before had, uh, or to-dos before had this uh, one to-do in it, but we've gotten rid of that. So A, B, C, D, that's looking good. We can clear these, we can reload, and you know what, hey, we're not getting any data there. Let's take a look at what's happening down here. Uh, whoops, unexpected, oh, where is that? And uh, 28, 23, 28, to do's, to do's, local storage. All this looks pretty good to me. Which what is it that it is complaining about? Let's look at what we have in our local storage. JSON parse. Ah, you know what I did? So when we store the value, like I said before, uh, local storage only keeps strings, only stores strings. So here we need to do json.stringify the new value. Uh, so let's clear out this. Let's reload. Now we've got our A, B, C, D, and let's make C and B completed. And now when we reload, uh, we get our A and D back. Hey, that's awesome. Now let's try to add a C, a D, E, A things aren't adding up anymore. Uh, so if we look at the local storage, you can see now we've got a bunch of them, but it stopped after this D here. And if you look at the actual values, you can see each one has this hash key uh, key added to it. Uh, what ends up happening is ng repeat. ng repeat adds that hash key to each item in, uh, in this case, each to do in to do's. Uh, so that it can keep track of which DOM object you're looking at. Uh, and what's happening in the console here is we're getting ng repeat dupes. Uh, this will lead us to an error message or a, a more descriptive message that we can, you know, read over. Uh, and what you're going to see right down here at the bottom is this track by index. Uh, and you can read through this. What I'm going to show you is how to solve this. So, so and just so you understand what's happening, when ng repeat goes over the data, it creates this identifier for each record. Now, when we reload it, um, the last record doesn't have an identifier because we are uh, applying the new value. As soon as the to do is changed, we're applying the new value to the local storage, which happens before ng repeat gets its hands on the data again. Uh, so that last item, it doesn't have a, a, a double dollar sign hash key key. 
the way that we can solve this is by telling Angular how we want to uh, keep track of the items. And you just simply do that by track by, and then you tell it what you want it to track by. Uh, technically, we could do to do dot title, which would kind of work for a little bit. Uh, let's just take a look at that really quick. I'm going to delete the local storage here and start fresh. So A, B, C. Uh, but now when I try to add another A, I'm going to get that error because it needs a unique value. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is track it by the index of the item in the array. And, uh, and then that should solve our problem. So uh, let's delete out what we got here really quick. You know what? Let's fully delete everything. Delete. Let's refresh. Okay, so we don't even have a key right now. We added one. We've got this one. And now one thing that you can see is it doesn't even have a hash key. Uh, so here's a B and a C. It doesn't even have to do the hash key because we're telling it what to track the items by. When you don't tell it what to track the items by, uh, then it's just going to add the hash key so it has something. Now when you do tell it, it, it doesn't need to do that anymore. It's, it's automatically indexing it or tracking it by the index of the item. So I could add a bunch here and uh, we're good. Reload and uh, everything's there and we also don't have this hash key which actually has some performance benefits uh, so let's clear out a couple completed let's reload everything's there it's coming from uh, the local storage and we're not going to get any errors anymore so this is awesome uh, so now we have local storage keeping track of our to do's uh, we're tracking it by the index so that we don't run into the duplicated uh, id key uh, so, so there you go. That's uh, a little bit of local storage with AngularJS, and more importantly, using track by index when you're going to be using local storage uh, or any other type of storage, uh, you may run into a situation where you really need to use this and you need to tell it to track by a very specific thing, uh, not to mention the uh, performance benefits that you certainly will see by uh, uh, specifying what to track by. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one.